and rip the fucking joint, you know, just to, if you're going to get treated for it, might as well have the fun of doing it too, right? But well, we really don't do that. Mm. Right, so there was a personal vendetta on the part of this ma former manager against you, is that what you No, said? no, so the, the, the tour manager had a personal vendetta. Mm -hmm. And he took that to the rare company? And, and well, he, 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 he wasted well. a lot of money, so he blamed it on us, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, that's just one thing. For that's just one, that's just one. album here, we... Uh, I have to say, Japan has done a great job, I reckon, uh, yeah. distribution here. Change uh, records is yeah. really good for us. But the rest of the, I mean, here here we go. Here we signing a fresh record deal, get a whole lot of money, and uh, we do a great album, deliver our, our part of it, and uh, they just don't do nothing. I mean, it's not even... They just put it out and keep it a secret, How much you know? sense does that make? I mean, you give a lot of money to the band. The band come up with the best album in years, and... Uh, then they just don't care. I'm sure that for Sony we were a tax loss, you know. I'm sure of that. Mm -hmm. But here, we, we it's not even a tax write-off, you know. Here, it does not make any sense. Mm -hmm. Well, it here we're doing all right, then. What? Here's no, I mean, uh, with this new album, in the rest of the world, it, it does not make any sense at all. Mm -hmm. So there's not really an answer to, to why you just go... What's the deal here? There is an answer, actually. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you! <laughs> That's a very good answer. It's the only one they leave you with, you see. They don't give you a chance to be nice to them. Because you're nice to them and they just shit on you. So then you get to thinking, well, I might as well just be a cat anyway, because they're treating me like that. And for yeah. years we went through, through the thing like that, you know. Yeah, I'm finished with the Germans, yeah. Anyway, it's going to be sledgehammer on the kneecap turn. I'd like to put in here, the fill doesn't mean all Germans, just the Germans. It's it's the Germans. Germans. Involved with the record. <laughs> well, and you know, look what happened last time, right, you know. <laughs> Yeah, we're we're the awesome. I'm amazed that a band would continue this long and, and maintain the same quality of sound for, for such a long time. We're improving. Uh -huh. But I mean, stylistically, that's mm. pretty much... Pretty diverse, the new album. Have you heard yeah. it yet? Yeah. Well, he, he had, obviously, yeah. But he still thinks that, you know, compared to other bands, we're similarly long. That's true. We do, we do try to retain the same, same sound, but we don't write any particularly way to make it sound different. We just write a song no matter what, whether it's a ballad or whether it's a, a real steaming number. And still, it sounds like that because it's us that play. Yeah, it's when the four people get together it becomes motorhead, you know, otherwise it's just, if you write a song, it's his song. If I write a song, it's my song. When we all play together, then it's a motorhead song, you know. Mm -hmm. You got your own signature, though. No matter what you play, it's going to be. I guess it's yeah. Yeah. You can always tell it's us when the, when the vocals start, <laughs> anyway, no matter what else we do. <laughs> Can't help that, you know. Put <laughs> some clothes pegs on Rizzle's nipples. We're going to do a high pitched female version of something. <laughs> Throughout the years, um, the music industry changes and you know, critics come and go, and you, know, you guys have stayed the whole while. And they sort of fall over themselves thinking of new and exotic names for the type of music you do. Like, you see that you're any of the godfathers of slash metal. Or we play Motorhead music. Yeah, exactly. That's what you're saying. Um, We're the best motorhead you'll ever see, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> but I mean, you, obviously, you've had to encounter this you know, throughout the. Sure. Yeah. I've had, I've had any attention to it. That's the best way to put it. Think. Does yeah. anybody has anybody ever gotten it right? Like, no. They've, they've never really described. I think so. Mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, a couple did, I guess. You know. Who was that guy that really wrote I'd say, you that time? I'd say it's a hard rock band. That's hard rock band, rock and roll band, yeah. whatever yeah. you know. But it's certainly. We've got very little to do with heavy metal, per se, you know. Mm -hmm. what, 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 what is heavy metal to you? Heavy metal to me is Judas Priest, you know, I would yeah. say. Mm -hmm. and we got nothing, nothing, yeah, yeah, and yeah, we get nothing to do with them bands. I mean, our music's totally different, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're good drinking friends. No, they're yeah. good lads, yeah. They put it under the umbrella, you know, so, mm -hmm. so they can rack it, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. It's the industry again, you know, mm -hmm. shortening corners and cutting the throat. <laughs> yeah. Have you lost out as a result of that, though? I mean, people expect you to be heavy metal and People expect us to be fucking morons on motorcycles, <laughs> you know. And even though we've shown all through our career that we're not, people tell, I think because they want to retain that image, you know, makes them feel better about themselves. Mm -hmm. I say, fuck it. <laughs> what do they know? It's funny how, how they have to put, put you in some kind of category. And people know? say, I don't like that, that sort of music. And they never heard you. Yeah. You know, they got opinions on your, your new album and they never heard it. I find that really arrogant, man. You know, it's impudent. I smack him in the fucking mouth. Instant. Sit him down, turn him to a chair, and make him listen to it once through. Because if you heard it once, then you can have an opinion. Uh -huh. Until you heard it, don't tell me nothing about it. You know? 
Don't tell me you wouldn't like it or that's not really your sort of thing. Because you don't know. You know, you better hear the bloody thing before you talk to me about it. Or I'll fucking, I'll spend three hours burning your ass off with my voice. You know? Get out the chainsaw. No, no, I'm just talking to death. Actually, in Japan, you may have profited as a result of the heavy metal connection. categorized, you know, it's not um, definable even. I listen further than to ABBA, to the classics, to anything, you know, MC5, Beatles, whatever. And it doesn't matter if you like it, if it gives you pleasure, that's what it's for, right? And nothing else is irrelevant. Mm -hmm. In the interest of time, you're going to cut out a lot of the interpreting. Are you? Yeah. Well, I, w I wouldn't have, I would have heard you, because then you can always interpret it later. Well, you actually, somebody sure. else will be taking this down later, so don't yeah. worry about being misquoted or anything. No, I won't, no. Um, I'll try not to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think we've ever done an interview where, where we weren't misquoted. Uh, I know. Going through this long process of sort of, you know, categor categorization bullshit, you know, the, the last batch of it being, you know, so-called grunge in America, yeah. you know, start labeling music grunge. Another word. Another word. For, Similar music. For some, you know, for a very large uh, entity. I think people have now sort of come to realize that all these little categories and names mean very little, and it all kind of refers to the same thing. Well, there's another category now, late grunge, isn't there? That's right, yeah, that's right. Um, but Death grunge. <laughs> and more ways than 36. Speed grunge metal. Uh. But the, our interviewer, Mr. Suzuki, was noting that now that things have kind of come full circle and people are more willing to uh, oh, uh, broaden their perspectives, but sort of the times have caught up with you now. You don't have to worry about really being categorized as much anymore. Maybe. People have said that every year since 1986. Is that right? Yeah. Uh -huh. it's still this, this is your year, boys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I know. Uh -huh. it's being categorized. Is that right? Sure. When they say that, though, they mean the, in terms of like the type of music you do or just uh, the, the type no, of... No, success. They mean, they mean like worldwide global amphitheater, you know. Uh -huh. And it's never happened since. This is the first year where they haven't said that yet. So... You know, we're halfway through it. So you've been jinxed every year since 86. I think so, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, everything, it comes down to everything is based on a pure rock and roll anyway, you uh -huh. know, when, yeah. when you talk about right, that kind of music. Everything comes from the blues anyway, you know, in country, fusion together, that's what happened with rock and roll, that's where oh. it comes from. So uh -huh. eventually, you know, as you say, the full circus, the uh, circus. Full circus? <laughs> <laughs> it is a circus, too. Many a true word, eh? Right. But it, it, it's coming back, I mean, it, it's just... Rock and roll. People realize it all, yeah. it all taps into the same sort yeah. of source. So at the moment, the world seems to be con concentrating on being sanitized, odorless, and like risk free, you know. I thought it would be uh, other, going in the other direction. Well, but we, we always gone in the other direction, uh -huh. but like, the, the world seems to be concentrating on all being nice and like wholesome again, you know. It's like the bloody 50s in America, it's like horrendous, you know. Mm -hmm. And you, the world isn't like that, you know. So we tell a bit too much of the truth for them, I think. If you read my words, they're fucking doomed, you know. <laughs> it's either about chasing women in a rock and roll band or like, how, what a bunch of assholes the human race is. And I, I can't help it, they're both true. <laughs> Unlike some of the other, uh, your other hard rock uh, contemporaries, you never really uh, limited yourself to just like a, a hard rock ghetto. Yeah. You were like performing with Nina Hagen or, yeah, right. or you know, going beyond those boundaries. And I would have, but she said no. <laughs> and the, some of the uh, the newer bands, like the, the Faith Faith No Mores or the... Uh, well, they've done already, haven't they? The, pardon me? They've done already. You think so? Well, the guitar players left them. Quiet. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But, but he, he was kind of, the point he was making was that they yeah. have also sort of reached out uh, to other... Yeah. Genres, or maybe Red Hot Chili Peppers. Only something. if you're allowed to, man. We're not allowed to reach out. Right? Uh -huh. People, but people don't promote that side of us, you know, because uh -huh. we are an inventive band. We've always been, you know. We're not known for that. They wouldn't. Uh, they won't promote it in, in the same way. Well, we're known to play really ballsy, noisy music. Yeah. Like. And uh, if, if that's not given to them, then they think that we're there's something wrong with the band or we. We're selling out or we lost the end. Uh, selling out, oh, that's the famous phrase, isn't it? selling out. Jesus Christ, what, how, how can we not rich then if we sold out? You know? <laughs>
We've had all that stuff, lots of times in the press. We don't mind too much. Yeah. But, so is there stuff you, you've wanted to do before, but you sort of hesitated to do it because... No, I never hesitated to do anything. We do whatever we want to do. We uh -huh. just do whatever feels right, you know. But it's like people are upset because we're not conforming to their version of us, you know. And uh, there's nothing worse than that for somebody, you know. His, his heroes have let him down or some fucking thing because we played something that was uh, like 5-8 time, you know, instead of 4-4, four, four, you mm -hmm. know. And they we recorded out. a couple of ballads and mm -hmm. some people have... Some people are still this, bitching uh, about it, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, what's wrong if you want to record a ballad? Well, why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't we do it? Well, yeah. Why not, you know? What, what's the song? stigma? Yeah. Do they want the songs to go the same tempo, the same speed? And then we played all the songs the same, right? Because we were trying to for years. We tried to play what we thought they wanted. Uh -huh. They didn't buy it anyway. So what the fuck, you know? Who cares? But, but that's the most static you've ever received the, over the ballads, huh? Yeah, yeah right. I think so. Right. Right. Yeah, we got a lot of stick over them. Have you taken those songs to the road, or have you... Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't play... We used to play Angle Nice Guy, but... No, not we play them today. Today. Like, that's that's kind of... Kind of that was a really Hello, good, that's good. Yeah. Lovely Forever was a really, really good bar. That was the first real. That's the best one I think we've done. Yeah. Well, obviously, the, the score. We used to play that one live. They, yes, they, they go over okay live, but yeah. they don't get like booze yeah. or anything. No, 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 well. Yeah, just, got a little light is going. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah it's going up. It's great. Uh -huh. I mean, the audience knows what's going on. It's only the bloody yeah. critics and the regular companies that yeah. are bozos. It's always been the band and the audience that matter in rock and roll. That's the mover and the shaker, yeah, right? That's all it's ever been anyway. Yeah. So it always has been just the band and the audience. That's what you're there for in the first place. You're not there to give interviews, you're there to play music. The industry only fucks it up and they put their finger in, you know, always. Because they don't know nothing about it and they don't care about it. They're just trying to move more units, you know. They don't know how to do it. So they wait till something's already successful and then leech onto it like bloody parasites, you know. Like S Seattle was like the Merseybee thing. They ran up there, because, I mean, they're on the front the shit out of them, you know. They ran up there, signed everything with a guitar around his neck, you know. And they it crippled the fucking scene immediately, you know. It's you know, the that matter anyway. Yeah. Else. I want to yeah. see the audience doing this, you know. And if I see that, then I know I'm doing good, you know. That's it. I ain't playing for no critics. Prison company accepted it. <laughs> yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, no offense, man. No, no, no. No offense, man. No, no. <laughs> There you go. There again, if you don't like it, you can fuck it. What uh, accounts for this don't let daddy kiss me? Oh, it's sort of a shocking... Well, it's content. a shocking subject. Lyrical content? Yeah, it's lyrical content. <laughs> what, what, what accounts for that? Well, the fact that two out of five women in America were assaulted before they're 12 years old by their father or a family member, right? Mm -hmm. That's what accounts for that. Wow. I mean, if it wasn't so... I mean, it's rife, that man, it's everywhere. Right. And people don't like to talk about it, you know, like they kick it under the carpet. Boys get assaulted too, you know, and they, they never talk about it because it was their father and they don't know why it happened and they can't figure it out, so... Yeah, Most of it never even... Yeah, really? it's a lot of people, isn't is that, it? Is that a fact? Yes, that's, that's a fact. That's almost half of all... I know. Really? Well, France is a big um, yeah. trend. And England too. Uh-huh. But well, how did you... Latch on Well, my father bowled me up the other. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking wise ass. No, I, I mean, I, I knew about it for ages before I wrote the song. You know, there was this little girl on TV. She was 20 and she just got married. And she said that she'd been assaulted by her father since she was five every day till the day before she was married. Every day. The day before. You know, well, you know, his nose makes no difference. Every day, 15 years. Right. And imagine that, man. The night before you get married, mm -hmm. your father, who you're supposed to look up to for guidance and like care, mm -hmm. is boning you, you know, mm -hmm. the night before you get married. Uh, well, fuck him, he should be hanged, uh -huh. son of a bitch. Anybody who finds a three or four year old girl sexually attractive, they should be fucking taken out. Mm -hmm. I don't want to feed them. I don't want them around, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. You should have a lap ladder to be What? What was that again? <laughs> you run that bars again? <laughs> <laughs> Quick mumble from Mickey D there. There was a lot of ashes and balls. Ah, well, I don't know. 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 You oh, can make a, a, a heavy, mm -hmm. fast number of mm -hmm. the same. The just, just don't, just wouldn't so have quite the same. It wouldn't be as effective. Mm -hmm. and it wouldn't have the pathos, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
question. So that makes fun now. What was the question? Oh, it's you, you, you're just a drummer. So I can have a little rest. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go and attack the school drill. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so much attacking drill. Well, it's more of persuading. Uh, Even off with sweeties. <laughs> is this the band's first uh, uh, song with like a social conscience? Or is it, have you ever tackled? You haven't been listening, have you? No, 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 no. I've, I've been writing anti Aaron songs since 1981. Mm -hmm. uh, 1981 but. Mm -hmm. but, but see, nobody notices they said that Paul Weller is the voice of his generation. <laughs> if he is, then you're in a lot of trouble, you know. Uh, I, I, we've always written stuff like I, I've always written stuff that addresses the, the problem, you know, mostly. As I've thought so. Anyway, uh -huh. and people have never given us any credit. They didn't even give, even give us any credit for this. They said, uh, oh, it's a ballad. Um, still persisting in their habit of doing ballads, wasn't it? You never even listened to the bloody yeah, words yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I mean, that guy epitomizes uh, what's wrong with him. He so didn't even hear the word, you know. Yeah, yeah, he just saw his ballad. Yeah, he just said it's a ballad. So it's just one more... Nothing about the lyrical content uh, at all. Uh, right. no, no. Just one more instance of you being treated as cardboard cutouts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just getting your nerves after a while, you know. Because mm -hmm. I, I was really proud of that song. I thought it did a great job and Phil did a... Me and Phil were mostly right all over that song and it was great, you know. Mm -hmm. Then you bring it out and some guy says, oh, it's a ballad, you know. <laughs> Fucking... We haven't been violent uh, yeah. for a long time, but I suppose it could be arranged, you know, for many more of them. <laughs> well, at least you're getting, you're getting it on... Uh, uh, I was partial to a bit of a mindless violence. Yeah, but, you know, the ultra-violence, <laughs> in-out, in-out. Well, at least you're getting uh, on the record here, you know, this will yeah. listen to a lot of people. Well, maybe if it makes one person listen to us properly, it would do the job, you know. Uh-huh. Uh, also, the... But at the same time, you can clarify what this death or glory is. It seems like much more of a, an aggressive uh, song that some may, and he was like saying, an older person heard this, they might think it glorifies war. Well, well, why? If they uh, read uh, them uh, words, how uh, can uh, they uh, think that? Well, yeah. you're, you're talking to somebody who's okay, well, there's a language barrier. Did you read the lyrics? They're printed in Japanese, too. Uh, uh, so there are, so there are, yeah, uh, people, people like who, who have not read the lyrics. Well, fuck them then. If they can't be bothered reading the lyrics, why should I be bothered writing them? Mm -hmm. the how can they have an opinion on what the lyrics mean, pro war or not, mm -hmm. if they haven't read them? Mm -hmm. well, that's quite right. So fuck them. Yeah. No, I can't fudge idiots like that. Yeah, they're right. not worth answering either. They're always going to be idiots. Because they, they can't take the trouble to. Because we always put the lyrics on the sleeve, and if they can't be bothered to read it. Yeah. Because you can't hear what I'm singing. Yeah. So you do make an effort at sort of yeah, getting much. past those misunderstandings. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and read them now. Yeah. See what you think. Well, so uh, I had to... You get out of the cellophane packet without that much trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you have to, uh, Look, he's not doing this. He's got to finish these questions. No, so he'll be yeah. fucking all day. Yeah. I'll, I'll unwrap it for you while, he's, while you're questioning. Go on. Can we take 20 minutes out to read that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. After yeah. Really yeah. 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 No, I never yeah. think. Okay, well, actually, we're running out of time here, so oh, no. he's just giving the final, uh, final, oh, no. final thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to the lyrics. Final part. countdown. <laughs> yeah. Final farewell. Oh. Yeah. Au revoir. You guys got to get uh, to the show. Take a shoot and start it. All right, tell them thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, is it yeah, finished? Yeah. Is that what I thought you were saying? We're getting to the last one. No, they were just saying that we very oh, finished finish up. Well, have you got any... Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, we were told we only had like 15 minutes to do this. Yeah, well, does he want to ask anything else? No, thank you. Can I go? 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 What time is it? Yeah, he's... No, he basically covered all the points there. He's just looking forward to the show. Does he know that I'm really a woman? <laughs> he know, yeah. But he had his breast removed by x-ray surgery and now he's not worried anymore about people not accepting him for what he is. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So we'll get some photos later then? Yeah, okay. yeah. 40, 40 minutes. minutes. Yeah, there. 40 minutes. We'll, we'll, we'll look it over there. Thanks. Thank you. You look it over while I'm fucking watching this. <laughs> cool. You didn't know there was going to be a quiz out there. <laughs> That's right, exactly. That's some good, good stuff. Okay, I'll be down.
Didn't read them. I did. It talks about the futility of war. Right? All of them? Yeah. You read all that song? Yeah. Read all that. I read them quickly. I skimmed it. Yeah. You've, got, you've got five minutes. Go ahead. Yeah. Try the one after it and the swords. You're going to do that. I mean, this is my wife you're looking at. Don't skim it. Uh -huh. I didn't. I'm looking forward to play as I kick the fucking shit out of that guitar. Yeah, you make me play that fucking guitar. Yeah, but it's not a bad movie. I'm on the board. Board no good. Fucking pissed off. I know what happened. In my bag. That's my fault. I put a bottle of Tabasco sauce, man. So it's going fucking bosh, isn't it? It's all over my file of facts. I can ruin everything. Once the pop is on the right all that lot out again. That was my fault. It's stupid. I think I'll save that. Bang! It was fucking gone. Not enough to look at the t-shirt or something. She she went up to look at the t-shirt. Yeah, that's how cool that shit. So it's about to say something. I was going to come over with it. Well, because it's really good. I thought, oh, I'll take that back. Let's get away. Let's get away. Tell them to relax. Uh -huh. Who's really, uh, wondering if it would be possible to get pictures and you guys just write out what the other guys come? Why? Right. He's not going to print them. Why is he not going to print them? So, no, just say that you'll set a council. That's okay. Just trying to justify his reason for existence. So the, the preference is to get all four of you if for some reason... Well, the deal for is in a short while. We said it for, for some reason during that five minutes, which is a rather short time for taking photos. Oh, then I should get a motor drive. <laughs> well, let's say just in case of a screw-up. At least they have, like, a fat insurance backup here. That's, that's photographer bullshit, you know. It's not always. Well, I mean, you know, five, we usually take about 15 minutes. Well, we've had them taken in 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and we're going to drive them more up. But, uh... <laughs> We go. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, you know, you're taking pictures. Uh -huh. It's not easy taking pictures. I don't know why people make such a fucking song and dance about it. Go ahead and read them words. Then. I'm reading them. I, I don't get the sign on the sword. Though. What exactly? Is keep, it? keep going. Maybe you'll get it before the end. That's my favorite. Sorry, I got to the end. Um, it's about the end. The point is that swords don't kill anybody unless they're picked up by people. Mm -hmm. it's rude, isn't it? They just lie there, otherwise, mm -hmm. and do fuck all, you know. Mm -hmm. So wait, so you have, going through all your lyrics, you have this like this sort of running theme of the that you know violence is bad. And yeah. The, yeah, that's that's the. the we would never get any mention of that. Ever, <laughs> uh -huh. right. yeah. Nobody talks about you as the great uh, anti-war uh, protest song singers of your, of your day. Yeah. Nobody's ever mentioned you in those particular. Never. Hmm. What about your fans? Do they realize that though. Maybe the fans don't. Either. Fans have to be told a lot of the time. Uh -huh. But a lot of guys come to the show this thinking, you know, hey, it's a kick-ass band. They're going to, you know, talking about going out and, you know. Yeah, forget it. They just talk about us as like loud morons, you know. Uh -huh. sort of thing. Have you read Don't Let Daddy Kiss Me? Sorry? Have you read Don't Let Daddy Kiss Me? Uh, no, no. That's the end of that side. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at this fucking winner. <laughs> what a winner, huh? What a wonderful way. What a dress sense. Look at him What's he look like, huh? <laughs> Looks like an unmade bed, for fuck's sake. That's really up that one. You go open that page. I wonder if you saw it. I don't know 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 if you saw it. いや、それはあの、浴びないけど、ちょっと他に用事があるんだけども。用事があって、行ってくるけども、まあ、シャワー、シャワーは浴びない。ああ。うん。でもあまりにもあの、息じゃないから。ちょっと、行ってもらっても
shit. Not that graphic, really. I've never seen it. I've never seen a song about it. Uh, uh, Irishman. <laughs> That's right, yeah, yeah, that's right. Right. That's I wouldn't have known what that was about then and told me in the interview. Uh-huh. You know, but, but no people will never notice this song uh-huh. because it's us. Right. They quote the Aerosmith song as an anti child molestation uh-huh. song. That's right. They'll never quote that. Uh-huh. Now why is that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my, my lyrics are better. Sti- sti- well, yeah. Stereotypes. Great photographs. Uh-huh. Wouldn't it make you mad? Yeah. Hopping. Hopping man. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right, good lyrics, man. Yeah, I, I never, I never hear this. You know, you have to pardon my ignorance. Why should I? <laughs> if you pardon ignorance, you'd still be in the dark <laughs> fucking ages. <laughs> you never read my lyrics. Huh? <laughs> 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 Personally, I really yeah. like this, this CD. He says that the kids here in Japan seem to get on well. And, you know, he also hopes yeah. that uh, they start reading the lyrics as well. Thank you. Because, you know, it's, uh, it's a side of the band. It definitely just doesn't get touched on. Yeah. Is the Japanese translation good, isn't it? Probably is. I haven't seen it. When did we do that? Yeah. Because we have had some miraculous translations of lyrics here. <laughs> I have, uh, first album ever came out, obviously somebody sat this Japanese geezer down by a record player and he wrote down what he thought I said, you know, oh, yeah, right. it was magic. Oh yeah, those, so, those, those, are, those are legendary, yeah. those are legendary. They're, they're, goes the Belgians do a good translation too at times. Yeah, he said that the, the lyrics are, the, the Japanese lyrics yeah. are good. So I mean, yeah, the, you know, the, the meaning gets across if you bother to look at it. Yeah. You know? I think maybe a lot of people just don't bother. Yeah. Well, I can't help that. Yeah. And I can't. I can't make him do that. Uh huh. Yeah. Right, the classic example of Bruce Springsteen's "Born in the USA." Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, exactly. That's what you're saying. Um, We're the best motorhead you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you, obviously, you've had to encounter this you know, throughout the. Sure, yeah, they do have any attention to it. Uh-huh. Is, is that the best way to put it? You think? Yeah, does anybody has ever, anybody ever gotten it right? Like, no, they never really described. I think so. Mm-hmm. I th- yeah, a couple did, I guess. You know. Who was that guy that really wrote the interview say, that time? I'd say it's a hard rock band. Hard rock band, band, rock and roll band, something, whatever, yeah. you know. But it's certainly, we, we've got very little to do with heavy metal, per se, you know. Mm-hmm. What, 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 what is heavy metal to you? Heavy metal to me is Judas Priest, you know, I would yeah. say. Mm-hmm. And we got well, nothing, nothing, yeah, yeah, and yeah, we get nothing to do with them bands. I mean, our music's totally different, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, they're good yeah. drinking friends. But that's no, they're good lads, yeah. We did put it under the umbrella, you know, so, mm-hmm. so they can rack it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's the industry again, you know, mm-hmm. shortening corners and cutting the throat. Yeah. <laughs> Have you lost out as a result of that, though? I mean, people expect you to be heavy metal. And they people expect us to be fucking morons on motorcycles. Yeah, mm. pretty much... Pretty diverse, the new album. Have you yeah. heard it yet? Yeah. Well, you, you, you have, yeah. But he still s- s- thinks that, you know, compared to other bands with similar long... Well, that's true. We do, we do try to retain the same, same sound, but, but we don't write any particular way to make it sound different. We just write a song, no matter what, whether it's a ballad or whether it's a, a real steaming number. Still, it sounds like that because it's us that play. Yeah, it's when the four people get together, it becomes Motorhead, you know. Otherwise, it's just if you write a song, it's his song. If I write a song, it's my song. When we all play together, then it's a Motorhead song, you know. Mm-hmm. You got your own signature, though. No matter what you play, it's going to be. I guess it is. Yeah. Yeah. You can always tell it's us when the, when the vocals start, <laughs> anyway, no matter what else we do. Right? <laughs> Can't help that, you know. <laughs> Put well, some clothes pegs on Rizzle's nipples. We're going to do a high pitched female version of something. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm going to have to win Throughout the years, um, the music industry changes and you know, critics come and go, and you, know, you guys have stayed the whole while. And you can wreck the fucking joint, you know, just to, if you're going to get treated for it, mm-hmm. might as well have the fun of doing it too, right? Mm-hmm. Well, we really don't do that. Mm-hmm. But, so there was a personal vendetta on the part of this ma- former manager against you, is that what you said? No, said? no, so the, the tour manager had a personal vendetta. Mm-hmm. And he took that to the record company? And, and well, he, 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 he wasted a lot of money, so he blamed it on us, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that's just one thing. For that's just one, that's just one. album here, we uh, have to say Japan has done a great job, I reckon, uh, yeah. distribution here. Teichiku uh, Records has done yeah. good for us. But the rest of the, I mean, here, here we go, here we signing a fresh record deal, get a whole lot of money, and uh, we do a great album, deliver our, our part of it, and uh, they just don't do nothing. I mean, it's not even... They just put it out and keep it a secret. How much you know? sense does that make? I mean, you give a lot of money to the band, the band come up with the best album in years, and uh, then they just don't care. I'm sure that for so many we were a tax loss, you know, I'm sure of that. But here, we, we, it's not even a tax write-off. <laughs> you know, and even though we've shown all through our career that we're not, people tell, I think because they want to retain that image, you know, makes them feel better about themselves. Mm-hmm. I say, fuck it. <laughs> what do they know? <laughs> it's funny how, how they have to put, put you in some kind of category. And people say, I don't like that, that sort of music, and they never heard you. Yeah. You know, they got opinions on your, your new album, and they never heard it. I find that really arrogant, man. You know, it's impudent. I smack him in the fucking mouth. Instant. Sit him down, turn him to a chair, and make him listen to it once through. Because if you heard it once, then you can have an opinion. Uh-huh. Until you heard it, don't tell me nothing about it. You know, uh-huh. don't tell me you wouldn't like it or that's not really your sort of thing. You don't know. You know, you better hear the bloody thing before you talk to me about it, or I'll fuck you. I'll spend three hours burning your ass off with my voice. You know? Get out the chainsaw. <laughs> no, no, I'm just talking to death. Actually, though, in Japan, you may have profited as a result of 